Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Uh, peace be upon you all and uh, in this video in part 2 we are going to work on the button band and on the sleeve of this cardigan. I have already made one um, sleeve. I have completed this. The other one I am going to make on camera. But before that we are going to work here on the front we are going to close this small gap here so for that what i'm going to do is i am going to join my gray yarn here on the bottom left side i'm going to join my yarn and then i will join it here on the bottom right side I'm going to join my yarn and then I will make chain one and make one single crochet this is single crochet from the last round on the body of the cardigan so I'm going to make one single crochet into that the next one is our double crochet so i'm going to make a single crochet on the bottom of that single crochet and single crochet on the side of this double crochet the next round is single crochet this round so i'm going to make a single crochet into that single crochet one single crochet on the bottom of that single crochet and top of this double crochet i'm going to make one single crochet there one single crochet on the side of that double crochet again one single crochet into next single crochet i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way i am going to repeat that pattern all the way here to the top this is the uh, top uh, left side of the cardigan this is the neckline i will resume the video when i reach here there is just one thing that i just wanted to point out that you are going to make single crochet into this round no matter if it's treble crochet here or single crochet you are going to repeat what we did here here we made a single crochet into these rounds here like here i made a single crochet so on the top here we had some rounds where we ended up uh, with treble crochet instead of single crochet so i made just single crochet into that i did not make any extra uh, single crochet into that i made just one single crochet on, into that as you can see it's treble crochet the last stitch here is treble crochet but still i made one single crochet into that and one single crochet on the bottom of that stitch and then one single crochet on the side of that uh, double crochet and then the next round was single crochet here so i made a single crochet there so here i'm on the top of that side so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do here this is the uh, starting chain three that we skipped when we started working on our uh, what you call it cardigan uh, this is these are the chains that we made and then we skipped th first three st uh, chains this is top of that here i am going to make three single crochets into that one two and three and now what i am going to do just for the sake of the video you don't have to do it but just for the sake of the video i am going to place a stitch marker into the second double crochet so that when we work when we will come back here we will know uh, which one is the central single uh, stitch now i am just going to make simple regular single crochet into each and every stitch or into each and every chain these are the starting chains so we are going to make a simple one single crochet into each and every stitch we are working on the neckline right now 
so we are going to repeat it by making one single crochet into all of these stitches and i will resume the video when i reach on the hair this is the uh, top right side of the uh, neckline and then i will resume the video again so i am at the end of neckline and this is top uh, right side of the neckline and i am going to make three single crochet in this corner one two and three and again into the second single crochet or the central one i'm going to place a stitch marker and now i'm going to repeat from here okay i'll show maybe it's better that if i show it on camera so that there is no confusion so what i'm going to do is the next is our uh, what you call it uh, double crochet so i'm going to make one double a single crochet into that on the side of that double crochet one single crochet on the top of that double crochet and bottom of that double crochet uh, the double crochet from the next round again one single crochet into next double crochet one single crochet on the top of that double crochet now it's single crochet round the last uh, stitch is single crochet so i'm going to make a single crochet into that one single crochet on the side of that double crochet from the next round one single crochet into the bottom of this treble crochet and this uh, top of this uh, double crochet now it's treble crochet but i'm going to make a single crochet i'm not going to make any extra stitches into that like that and then i'm going to simply repeat that by making one single crochet on the side of the double crochet from the next round one single crochet on the top of that double crochet and uh, bottom of next uh, bottom of a single crochet from the next round and then one single crochet into next single crochet so i'm going to repeat it all the way here to the bottom this is right bottom side of the cardigan and then i will resume the video again so i'm on the other end of the cardigan this is bottom right side this is the other corner what i'm going to do is i'm going to make chain one and turn around this is the bottom of the cardigan we are not going to make any stitches there we are just going to simply turn our work around and now i will the next round is very easy and simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to chain one and make one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way to the top until we reach the uh, top of this side plus uh the stitch where we have placed our stitch marker i will resume the video when i reach my first stitch marker so i have reached my first uh, sti uh, stitch marker what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove that and then i'm going to make three single crochets into that one two and into the second one i'm going to place my stitch marker again and make one more single crochet into that this is top right corner of the neckline and then i'm going to simply make one single crochet into each and every stitch until you reach uh, left uh, side of the neckline or top right uh, sorry top left uh, corner and then I will resume the video again so I have reached on the other corner of the neckline what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make three single crochets into that stitch mark where we have placed our stitch marker I'm going to make one two and three single crochets as well and into the second one i have placed my stitch marker again and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make chain two one and two 
and I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to make one single crochet into next one, two, three, four and five. We have made our first button hole. Chain two, one and two and then I'm going to skip next I'm going to skip next two stitches and make one single crochet into next five stitches. One, two, chain two one and two and then skip next two stitches sorry I'm having some trouble with the light the Sun is setting so that's why I'm getting some trouble with the light um, skip next two stitches and then make one single crochet all the way to the end until you reach here simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again i'm at the end and now and this is our left bottom side of the cardigan i'm going to make chain one and turn around and now i will simply make one single crochet into the same stitch the first one and then one single crochet all the way upwards until i reach my first chain two space which is going to be all of those three chain spaces are going to be the button holes so i will make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until i reach my first chain two space and then I will resume the video again I have reached first uh, chain two space so I'm going to make two single crochets into that chain two space and now I'm going to make one single crochet into next five single crochets one two three four and five and next is chain two space so I'm going to make two single crochets into that and again one single crochet into next five sing, uh, five stitches or five single crochets two three four and five and now again chain two space so I'm going to make two single crochets into that chain two space one single crochet into next single crochet and the single crochet after that is the central single crochet so I'm going to make one two and three single crochets and I'm going to place the stitch marker back into the central single crochet and now it's very simple and easy that you are simply going to make one single crochet into each and every single crochet Uh, one single crochet into each and every single crochet on the neckline until you reach here the next uh, marked stitch or next uh, the other corner of the neckline and then you can simply skip the video I will show in the video but if you don't want um, uh, to follow the video you can simply skip it and you can make three single crochet into that and then one single crochet on the other side all the way to the hair on the bottom right side and then make one single uh, chain one one single crochet into all the single crochets three single crochets into the second single crochet where we which you have made here and one single crochet here on the neckline three single crochet into, into the central single crochet which is this one and one single crochet all the way to the bottom but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you guys when I reach here I have reached other uh, marked stitch so I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to place one two 
and three single crochets and into the second one or the central one I'm going to place my stitch marker and then I'm going to simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way to the bottom I'm at the end of this uh, what you call it I'm on the uh, bottom right side I'm at the end of that now I'm going to make chain one turn around and I'm going to simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until I reach the top or uh, first marked uh, stitch so simply make one single crochet into each and every stitch until you reach here into this and there into this stitch you are going to place three single crochet instead of one and then make one single crochet here on the neckline again into this one I'm going to make three single crochet into this uh, central single crochet and then I'm going to make one single crochet into each and every uh, stitch until I reach here and then I will resume the video I'm not going to show you guys how to do that how to do this round because the video will be too lengthy so that's why I'm going to skip that part so see you at the end of this round so the body of the cardigan, cardigan is uh, completed now what we are going to do we are going to work on our sleeve so for that what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, join the yarn into this uh, with the right wrong side facing towards me I'm going to join the yarn into this uh, what you call it uh, stitch marker which we placed when we divided for the armholes and the body of the cardigan and then I'm going to make chain one and I'm going to make one single crochet into same stitch one single crochet into same stitch and then one treble crochet into the next basically we are repeating these uh, rounds so and then one single crochet into the next treble crochet into the next always remember that when you are repeating this round single crochet and treble crochet round wrong side of the work should be facing towards you so repeat this for if you remember we had 29 stitches here on the armhole so here just before this stitch marker this stitch before that this one when you reach here you should end up with 29 stitches we started with single crochet and the last stitch should also be single crochet so repeat this pattern by making one single crochet in next stitch and treble crochet into the next stitch all the way to the end or one stitch before the stitch marker and then I will resume the video again I'm at the end of this round I have only one stitch to go we are not going to make any stitch into this uh, marked stitch because we have already made a stitch when we divided uh, here we have already made a stitch into there so we are going to skip that but we have one stitch to go so I'm going to make a single crochet into that just remember that at the end and at the start of these rounds on these leaves you are going to start with single crochet and end with single crochet and you should end up with 29 stitches now I'm going to drop the yarn and I'm going to pick the gray yarn here I'm going to change the color chain three one two three pull and secure the other yarn and then I'm going to turn around and now right side of the work should be facing towards you this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet so what we will do is we will make simply one double crochet into each and every stitch and you should end up with 29 double crochet don't worry about this hole uh, we will close it when we have finished our uh, cardigan 
so right now simply make one double crochet into each and every double cro uh, each and every stitch and then uh, at the end you should end up with 29 double crochets I will resume the video when I reach at the end of this round so I am at the end of this round so what I am going to do is I am going to skip this starting chain 3 and on the top of our first double crochet skip this starting chain 3 and top of our first double crochet I am going to make a slip stitch in fact I am going to drop this yarn and I am going to pick the other color of the yarn and then I will make chain 1 and turn around and now wrong side of the work facing towards you this is first available uh, stitch so I'm going to make one single crochet into that and one treble crochet into next single crochet into next treble crochet into next I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round and uh, as I said earlier that uh, we are going to end up with single crochet at the start and single crochet at the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into starting uh, single crochet and I'm going to pick the other yarn like that and now I will make chain 3 one two three and i'm going to now repeat these two rounds the last round we just made and around uh, one round before that uh, last and second last round we are going to repeat these rounds as many times as we need to until we get the length of our sleeve like here minus uh you can call it two inches so repeat those uh rounds until you get the length of the sleeve you want minus two inches because here we are going to add some uh, front post and back post double crochet rounds as our cuffs if you know how to make these cuffs you can just skip rest of the video and just make one uh, front post double crochet and um, and then next in next uh, stitch back post double crochet in next front post in next back post and then in next round you can make uh, front post double crochet in all front post double crochets and back post double crochet into all back post double crochets and then your sleeves are completed and then afterwards when we have completed our sleeves then i'm going to close this hole at the armhole and i will make rest of the video off camera until i reach here and then i will resume the video and then i will work on the cuff uh, on camera so that i can save some time so um, uh, yes that's it welcome back we are going to work on our cuff now so what we are going to do now is that instead of here i'm going to do uh, one thing little bit different because we are going to work on our cuff side uh, for that we are going to need equal numbers of the stitches here because we have 29 uh, stitches here but now from now on we are going to need 30 stitches for that what we are going to do is instead of slip stitching on the top of our first double crochet i am going to slip stitch on the top of starting chain three so that we uh, made an extra stitch here so i'm going to slip stitch on the top of uh, chain three starting chain three and then i'm going to make chain three but this chain three does not count as our first double crochet one two and three and on the around the post of that chain three here i'm going to make a front post double crochet back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next again 
back post double crochet into the next I'm going to repeat this uh, small section all the way to the end by making front post double crochet into next back post double crochet into next all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round I'm going to skip this uh, starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 and I'm going to convert this starting chain 3 from the last round and first front post double crochet uh, into front post double crochet like that back post double crochet into back post double crochet front post double crochet into next front post double crochet and back post double crochet into next back post double crochet this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end by making front post double crochet into all front, front post double crochets and back post double crochet into all back post double crochet all the way to the end and when I reach here at the end of this round I'm, go I'm going to skip this starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet and then I'm going to repeat this round which I'm working on right now I'm going to repeat it as many times as I need to depending on the length of my sleeve and uh, then I will fasten off the yarn and then uh, I will resume the video again our cardigan is almost done we are missing only one thing to do and that is to close this hole which is under arm I'm going to remove the stitch markers and take inside a cardigan out I have already threaded the needle with the yarn so what I'm going to do is just make one knot here you don't have to make it I'm just making to just make it a little bit more secure and here is that hole so I'm going to simply sew the hole and close it don't pull this uh, what you call it all the way um, don't uh, pull this end of the yarn all the way just leave some of that tail left and then simply sew and close the by sewing both ends together cut the yarn and then make couple of knots with both ends of the yarn just to make it more secure that and cut the extra yarn and that's it your cardigan is done now so your cardigan is done it's not possible for me to sh show whole, whole cardigan in one frame but it's done and I'll try my level best to show you guys the completed item this is how it looks Uh, that's it um, I have tried once again my level best to explain each and every stitch with as details as I could but still if there is anything that is confusing or if there is anything you guys did not understand if it's about this round or I understand it could be a little bit uh, confusing especially if you're new to crochet so my videos <clears throat> I always try to make my videos with details because not all of us are on the same level of the crocheting maybe some of us are new to crochet and maybe some are um, just learning crochet and all that so I, that's why I try my level best to explain each and everything with detail so that even if you are a beginner you can understand it easily still if there is anything that is confusing or you guys did, un did not understand 
please comment below i will try my level best to help you guys and i always welcome uh, all the questions regarding my videos regarding if there is anything you guys want to criticize or if there is anything you guys want to point out point out just do it i appreciate that it means that you guys are watching my videos closely and uh, so i always welcome feedback whether it's uh, positive or maybe something that i need to improve thank you so much for watching please uh, again if there is anything that is confusing let me know i'll try my level best to help you guys uh, thank you so much for watching happy crocheting peace be upon you all